Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you to all of my new subscribers, my old rider dies. I love you all so very, very much. La have, excuse me, I have a, another Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. But I also received some Love Overboard mail, and I am absolutely thrilled. So before I jump into the Dollar Tree haul, I would, um, I hope you don't mind me showing you my Love Overboard mail by my girl Shauna again. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. She is so beautiful. Okay, without further ado, let's jump right into this. Okay, my sweets, I received this box in the mail yesterday. And as you all know, today is February 1st. It starts off, it kicks off our Black History Month. And I really, really haven't pulled out any of my decorations or my um, shirts that I normally wear around this time, but I will. But my girl Shauna, she sent me this beautiful, beautiful card that looks like this, okay? And it says, you are powerful and resilient. Nothing you go through will change that. Ooh. <laughs> then inside, it's like the kind of like yellow and brownish colors. It's so pretty. Reminds me of fabrics from Mother Earth, like kente cloth. And the card reads, always remember you matter to so many people, including me. Happy Black History Month, Shauna. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so sweet. Oh my God, Shauna. Whew. I wish I could just hug you, girl. It is a Hallmark Mahogany card. And this is what it says. I was just like, oh my God. I wish I could just give her a big hug. Just you always remember you matter to so many people, including me. Wow, that blows my mind, Shauna. Thank you so much. But wait until you guys see what she sent me. I don't know where she got these from, but I can't wait to put them together and um, try to either laminate them, glue them, so I can frame them. But these are all 500-piece uh, puzzles, and she sent me six of them, y'all. <gasps> Holy moly macaroni. This one is called... Artist Spotlight Series. I think they're all called Artist Spotlight Series Graffiti Egypt. And the company is Spin Master Puzzles. And it looks like this. <gasps> Isn't that darling? Oh my God. Look at that, y'all. Now I've got my new ring light going here. So I'm hoping it don't mess me up. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> Shauna, thank you so very, very much. I can't take my eyes off of it. It is just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to try to stick with those first because then she sent me this, this, like the tribal ones. Oh my Lord. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I am in love. I am so in love. They all say artist spotlight series, 500 pieces. My sister and I are going to be busy, honey, because we're putting these puzzles together. I don't have no room on my walls, but I'm going to make some room, okay? And the next one, let's see if we can stay with the tribal. Okay, I I'm loving these tribal ones, y'all. <gasps> Look at this one. <gasps> Ooh, what is that, the male? Um, I know he's like the male. If he's not the chief, he's the prince. He looks like the prince. He looks pretty, y'all, don't he? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where can I find a man like that? <laughs> oh my gosh, Shauna. Thank you so very, very much. Oh my God. I love these. And then these are the more kind of like modern day ones, Americanized ones. This is a sister with her cat and her Margaret and her martini. <laughs> Again, 500 pieces. Let me see if I can't put that ring light over here somewhere. Okay. That's a little bit better. So this one looks like that. Look at the sneakers, y'all. She's got her little <laughs> her little desserts, her little pie, and her drinks. <laughs> that is so cute. I love it, Shauna. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then this one, these are called Arella Durand. 
Arella Duran. Yeah, these are all by Arella Duran. Again, Spin Master Puzzles. And I love this. <laughs> it looks like a couple in the inner city, like in Brooklyn somewhere. This looks like that. I'm just in love, you guys. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Then, it, you know, the backside looks pretty much the same. It gives you the history. Arella Duran is a French graphic artist whose work is a vivid celebration of diversity, representing Afro descendants as joyful, proud, and empowered. These colorful personalities present the unified voice of a global community whose hopes, dreams, and desires envision on inclusive future for all. Absolutely inclusive. Find more of Aurella's work on her website. So that is who Aurella is. I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, I believe I am. And the tribal ones, let me read you a little description. The tribal ones is emerging artists and muralists. Egypt uses portraiture as storytelling. We as humans bear a unique story. I enjoy creating these stories with bold images and an underlying vibrancy. My paintings consist of people or moments I've come across, untold stories that deserve to be heard. Egypt's work are in, exhibited worldwide. Find more on Egypt's web, website. So this is Graffiti Egypt, okay? So nice to put the little story with the pictures. And this one is me, so me. <laughs> Especially when you see the house slippers, okay? This is Arella Durant again. And this one looks like this. You see the slippers, the computer. She's sitting by her in her comfy chair. I'm like, this is so me. There's my Bible, my coffee. <laughs> this is beautiful, Shauna. I don't know where you got these from, girl, but I am so happy to be blessed by your kindness and your generosity, girl. I need to hug you. I'm giving you a hug. I hope you can feel it because I'm squeezing you so tight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my Lord. I love them. I will... Uh, put pictures on my community page when we get these puzzles put together the way we want them. I will show you, I will come back and show you guys how they came out. All right, guys, thank you so much for letting me sh um, share that love overboard mail with you. We're going to hop right into this small little Dollar Tree haul. Okay, my sweets, I'm going to start with the food items first and then I'll get into the non food items because I did go back to the Dollar Tree um, today. And I found a few, not everything I was looking for, but again, it's cold, it's rainy, it's just dark and gloomy. Y'all know what that does to my psyche, and I don't like to be on the road driving with these cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs out there. They're bad enough on dry days, so on rainy days, no thank you. So without further ado, we um, I made a meatloaf and some boiled potatoes for Sunday dinner, no, for Monday's dinner, and me and my sister... What is it, Wednesday? I can't even keep up anymore. Anyway, we have leftovers today, and we were running out of ketchup, so I did pick up another um, bottle of the Hunt's tomato ketchup. This is a 20-ounce bottle. This is a great deal to me, personally. No preservatives, and the expiration or Best Buy date is um, Best Buy August 5th, 2024. And this is what it looks like. I love this Hunt's. I used to use Heinz all the time, but they don't sell Heinz at the Dollar Tree. So guess what I'm in love with now? So I got one of these because I can't eat my meatloaf without ketchup. I know a lot of people like tomato sauce. Same thing, potato, potato. Okay, I love my ketchup on my meatloaf. <laughs> and another item that I used up when I made the meatloaf was um, the Kalana's flavored Italian style breadcrumbs. This is a 13 ounce can and they had absolutely no food items at the large Dollar Tree. I found these at the small Dollar Tree, and they only had two cans. I started to get two, but I said I know I didn't need it. I use breadcrumbs sparingly, so when I make a meatloaf or meatballs or something, like, or I'm coating some chicken or something, you know. So I did pick up that, and the Best Buy, or expira this is an expiration date of April 21st, 2024. Great pantry item. I hope you guys can see. I'm still trying to adjust to this new ring light, so please forgive me any 
glares or smudges. Okay. And then I went into the junk food section. And let me just tell y'all something. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I think the um, onion and garlic Uts potato chips are out. When I tried those... <laughs> When I tried those honey barbecue potato chips, and I, like I said before in yesterday's haul, I know I've eaten these before in the past, but I'm not supposed to be eating potato chips, period, as a diabetic. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I try to eat them in moderation, but let me tell y'all something. These Uts honey barbecue potato things, oh my God, they are fire. Did y'all get that? Fire. Fire. <laughs> I think my onion and garlic are out because when I went back to the Dollar Tree, I purchased honey barbecue uts, okay? Not onion and garlic. These things were so good. The onion and garlic potato chips, I could eat a half a bag and be fine and go on about my business and then eat the other half at another time. Mm -mm. That didn't work with these. I sat there and ate. I did try to fold the bag, close it, fold the bag up, and put it away. But I reached back over there and grabbed it again and finished. I ate the whole bag. I was like, so I went back today. And I got two more bags of the Uts Honey Barbecue Potato Chips. They are fire, y'all. They don't expire until May 8th, 2023. And again, it's a 2.75 ounce bag of potato chips. With your cold cut sandwiches, your tuna fish, your egg salad, or just by themselves. I haven't even tried them with sour cream because I eat the bag so fast I didn't even get to dip them in the sour cream. I'm just saying, this is just my personal opinion. You may not agree with me, okay? It might you may not have the same taste buds, but I love barbecue. And then honey barbecue. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Okay, my sweets. I made myself hot getting so excited over them honey barbecue potato chips. But this next item is something that I see periodically in the Dollar Tree, and I really never pay attention to it. I have not eaten one of these in since I think I was walking across town to go to middle school or high school. But I saw them up by the register, and I decided to purchase them because I haven't done it in so long. These are the Tasty Cake Glazed Cherry Pie, Cherry Pie, artificially flavored, but made with real fruit. How does that, how does that sound? Artificially flavored, but it's made with real fruit. Okay. Anywho, I digress. They're um, Best Buy, oh, enjoy by February 17th, 2023. So that's right around the corner, but that's okay. They'll be gone before way before then. I did get one for my sister. We typically will put these in the microwave for, you know, just a millisecond just to heat them up a little bit. And you can eat it with Cool Whip, ice cream, whatever. But Or you can just eat it by itself. I haven't had these in years, you guys. So I'm going to give it a try for dessert tonight because I'm trying to stay out of the kitchen and making cakes and cookies and brownies and all that stuff because since my sister came... Yeah, it's, it's not her, it's me, okay? So I did get two of those, and then I saw they've had these, but these look different to me, excuse me. These look different to me. These are the Share Size Haribo Sweet and Sour Hearts, and they have, uh, with the bear on it, I know we've had these before, but these hearts look bigger, and they look can I say juicier? I don't know. But it says, um, kids and grown-ups love it so. The Happy World of Haribo Gummy Candy, 4 ounce. And they're for Valentine's. And they have the little bear with the to and from. But if you guys can see those parts, let me see if you can see it. Don't they look a little bit bigger? Like they're so juicy or something? I don't know. I They just appeal to me, and I love gummies. I try to stay away from them. I really do. Um, I just saw the Best Buy. Yeah, the Best Before 11th, 23. So you have until November of, 20, of this year to eat those. But it just says sweet and sour. And I was just like, it's sweet and sour hearts. So I said, eh, I'll get one bag. If I don't like them, I'll just pass them over to my sister. She'll like them. And then again, at the register, they were just wooing, they were just wooing me in, y'all. They were pulling me in. These used to be my favorite, absolutely my favorite 
candy to munch on when I went to the movies. And again, I haven't gone to the movies in years, but these used to be my favorite, favorite goobers. Y'all remember the goobers? Oh my Lord. I saw them right up at the end of the register and I had to grab them. These don't expire until August 24th of 2023. And so, yeah. A little noshing, a little nosh here, a little nosh there. So I grabbed those. Okay, coming up, the non-food items. Okay, my sweets. I found some interesting, different items. I'm not going to sing my song. Finally, it's happened to me right in front of my face. And I just can't deny it. Oh, did I say I wasn't going to sing it? <laughs> Anywho, let's get back into this video. This is a repurchase and I controlled myself because my closet is full. But y'all know what I told you before. Every time I see the Scotties in the 160 count, I want to grab at least two. And I controlled myself and only grabbed one. And I know this is at my local Dollar Tree. So I think if they're not sold out by the time I get back, I can always grab a few more. But they'll probably be gone because they were almost gone when I grabbed this one. But I did control myself, okay? And the next item I found was something new I've never seen before. They're coming out with all this eco-friendly, sustainable stuff. Well, they had these um, 16th ounce Darnell... R-E-S-Q, -E Rescue, I guess, Rescue, okay, cool, The okay, Rescue Sustainable Cups, this is made with recyclable content, eco-efficient, earth and wallet friendly, 12 ounce cups, and I was like, they were loaded, my store, my local Dollar Tree was absolutely loaded with this, I don't know if you guys can see that, it says Darnell, and it says Rescue. Y'all know I'm a little slow, okay? Y'all know I'm a little slow, but I mean, I was like, well, this is new, and I love to have paper cups in my house, so it's 16 ounces or 473 millimeters, so I grabbed those. Rescue me and let me in your heart. Rescue me. Oh. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll make a song out of, out of everything, okay? Sorry. Not sorry. Okay, moving right along. We're going to get back into some of the eco-friendly items I was showing you guys in yesterday's haul. As per usual, they did put some more stuff out, and I was very, very happy to find it and grab it because this kind of stuff never goes to waste, okay? So I'm, the first thing I'm going to show you is... The little small box of the Eco Gang Fresh Mint Dental Floss. You get 50 meters, and of course, it says vegan. So it looks like that. So they only had this one. I don't know if they had any more, um, but I only saw this one. So I grabbed it. I haven't used string floss in so long, but that doesn't mean, you know, when I go to the dentist to, to the hygienist to get my teeth cleaned, she always used string floss. So. I got it because it was new and I wanted it. And then I found the floss picks. All this stuff was right together. This is the Eco Gang floss picks made from plant-based materials. We had something like this at my Dollar Tree earlier, but I guess they put them back out with this stuff. This is a 40 piece, double threaded, and again, um, cruelty free and vegan free. And you get 40 floss sticks, but y'all know, I love my Oral-B floss sticks from Walmart. I get them every month, and I love them. But, hey, you can always have something new, something different, or for backup. So, I got these, and these are in the mint, right, mint, mint flavor. And then this one is in the charcoal infused, double-threaded, 40-piece, same thing, and it is the charcoal infused. So it looks like this, but I know we had something like this before, something similar to it, okay? But we did not have the toothbrushes, and I found all of them. They had, I think these are all of them. I got the green one. This one says the Eco Gang, um, da -da 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 -da, with plant-based um, bristles and handles. So it's made from plant-based materials. This one looks like sensitive bristles, eco-friendly, 
and they're just calling this, um, well, they're not calling it anything. This one is in the green, in the sensitive, and I usually use sensitive bristles or soft bristles because my teeth are sensitive. So I found this one. Then I found this one. It's the charcoal infused soft bristles. Looks like this. Still trying to work out this ring light, y'all. So it looks like this. All made from um, charcoal, bamboo, toothbrush, charcoal infused. They've had stuff like this before by that other company. I can't think of the name right now. But yeah, so I got this one. Then I got the blue one that says eco-friendly toothbrush. And it's just a sensitive, it says with plant-based bristles and handle. So it just has like the blue bristles. So you can see it like that. So I got this one. Toothbrushes will never go to waste in my house. So I just grabbed them because yeah, they were new. And then of course this one's my favorite. And this one says sensitive bristles and it has the purple bristles, the eco gang, the eco gang. So it has the purple bristles. Hope you guys can see all this because this ring light is wigging me out. So yeah, I got all four of those. Those were the thumbnail. And I tried to get them in my thumbnail. I don't know how it even came out. So this looks like that. So they have the four different ones. I'm not sure if they have more. I don't think so. But I got all four of them. Okay. And the next few items. Okay. The next few items, you guys, is just a few little repurchases. Well, no. One to repurchase. But anyway, I went back to the, my large Dollar Tree where I found the a Amy products from. And I think I might have to return this or see if that stuff will wash off because I didn't see that. It looks like something spilled on it. But anywho, I digress. This one I missed or they just put it out after they put the first three out. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Polishing Charcoal Plus Black Sugar gel mask plus scrub and I think um, Pamela told me that she got this one I'm not really sure I can't remember it says for all type for all skin types instantly detoxes pores and exfoliates for smooth skin dual action mask and again it is a six fluid ounce of the Freeman's it looks like almost like the men's one or the one I showed you yesterday it looks like this so this is the polishing charcoal, and of course, no seal. Yeah, so none of them have the seal on them. Tiss, tiss. But anyway, let me see if there's a smell. No, I can't smell anything. So there's no smell in this one, but that other one, man, it smelled really, really good. And if you can see, there's a little bit of spillage on here, and I don't know what that is. Maybe something else spilled on it. If it doesn't wash off, I'll just return it and get another one. But when I went back today, all the Amy, or I think it's pronounced Amy, everything was gone. I couldn't find one product in the Amy line. And I know there's a blue Amy that goes with that pink or mauve. But we didn't get it yet or they didn't put it out yet but whatever they did put out it was completely gone whoa okay i did find another one of the b color mini ice pops i think they're just so cute you know i'll probably just put them in with my niece's stuff um this is the watermelon scented i what did i find yesterday the berry mix the mixed berry but i found the watermelon one today looks like this so cute just for the little girls, you know, I'm not going to do anything with that, but I just thought it was cute. So I got her that. And then I found another Be Pure, Be Color, Be Pure. Oh my God, they're killing me with all this B stuff. But this one is a hydrating primer serum. And it says it's infused with rose oil. And I don't think I've seen this or, or maybe I saw something comparable to this down the make a gift aisle, but it wasn't this one. So this one is hydrating primer serum, a net um, five fluid ounces. And I was like, I'll just put that with the rest of the gifts to put in a gift packet. It looks like this. It's a hydrating serum. And I was like, well, okay, do we put this on our eyes? I mean, infused with rose oil directions dispense two to three drops into the palm of your hand 
Apply with your fingers as you would a serum. Pat the formula into the skin. Yep, just like I said. Allow one to two minutes for the primer to set before applying foundation. Okay, okay, for $1.25, I'll try it. So I got that. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, so and the last item in this haul today, you guys, is I told you yesterday that I found the Be Pure hydrating under eye concealer but the first one I purchased was a fair and I told you I purchased it for my sister but I went back today and the only other um, shade they had was the medium so I think this will be a lot better for her than the fair so I just switched it out I switched out the um, LA's totally awesome and the fair under eye concealer for just two two of one of these items that's all you do I mean, it's good to have your receipt because some of them will ask for the receipt. So I did get that in the medium for her. So that is it, you guys, for my hauls today. I hope it's going to be a nice day tomorrow. I really need to see some sun again because it really does, you know, have an effect on my psyche. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shauna, again, for those beautiful, beautiful puzzles. You are just such an incredible, kind-hearted person. We've got to meet one day in person. But love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a blessed day. Bye, guys.